it sounded like a big bomb to me. So everybody's running out and everybody's devastated. The fire was fast, the fury of the flames ravaging this Cambridge neighborhood. When it was over, more than 100 people were left without a home. Just kind of sad. One year later, the mark of what was lost remains. A Christmas tree left behind, decorated last year, still stands in this Berkshire Street condo, now boarded up, as are many of the homes that suffered the worst of the damage. She's in a wheelchair, we had to drag her out. It was not an easy, an easy thing to do. As residents who are lucky enough to have returned recount their tales of survival. So this would have been the next one to go. Uh, the fire was jumping across each street to the cars to the next building. Many say the scarred homes, the pit filled with crumbled concrete are constant reminders of what was. Less of an eyesore and more of the understanding of the hardships that the families had to go through. What could have been? If this building did happen to catch fire, and then 34 would have caught, and then 36 and 38, because they're all joined together. It's just one building. And what remains? Thank God I'm still I'm back in my home, and everybody's settling down. But the fire did destroy a, a whole lot of stuff for us. Moving forward, at least mentally and physically. But recovery is not always a linear or easy process, and many of the homes here still just shadows of the bustling life that once filled them. So what about those boarded up homes? We spoke with several people who used to live in them and they all say that insurance has been a problem moving forward. In Cambridge, Massachusetts, Nicole Estefan, WMUR News 9.